So hello everyone, this is Sam Ridgeway with uh, Tales from the Crypto. We're here with Cameron Sykes, our crypto guru. How are you doing, Cameron? I'm doing excellent yourself. I'm doing, ex I'm doing splendid, and I'll tell you why, because I wanna throw something on the screen here. Before we start this, one of the things I wanna say is uh, the good thing about this channel is this isn't something you have to sit here and watch. You don't have to baby. You don't have to check in like every 30 minutes like you do with another couple channels or, you're, or you'll lose all your money. This is stuff that you purchase. You sit it there and then you just wait until Cameron tells you to sell it. So you just set it and forget it. And to show the progress that we're making, let me throw this up on the screen. Uh, so if you can see this, what we're what we're at is one's up 3.75%, one's up 5.63, one 3.959, one up 1%, one one's 9.5%, and we do have one down 12.5%. So what does all that mean? Do the math real fast. We are up 24%. If we take the one that's down 12.5%, we're still up 11.5%. So if you forget about everything that I said and we just go with this, Let's just round it off to 10, 11.5, let's just say 10. If you would have put $5,000 in these coins, you would be up $500. It is episode four today. That means in one month, you would have made $500 on your $5,000. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we do this channel. And that and Cameron's like nailing this stuff. So I'm so glad we got somebody who actually does all the research and actually says, okay, this is what you buy, and it, and it goes up. So, and I'm even going to say on the one that's down 12.5% over the last 24 hours, it's up 3%. So it's on its way back up. Again, the, the market is volatile. It's going to go up and going to go down. But at the end of the day, if you have more money in your account than when you started, that's a win. So I'll turn it over to you now, Cameron. You're doing a, an amazing job. I love doing these things. I love helping people. Why don't you just take it away? Absolutely. I'll speak about TrueFi too, which is the only one that's currently down right now. We bought that one is on a, a bit of a tear. And so it had a little bit of correction, which is totally understandable. And it's definitely at right now, it looks like it's consolidated. It's hit the bottom. And so right now we're just kind of adding to the position because nothing's fundamentally changed. The pros future prospects are still great. And once again, we're long on this. So we're long-term investors and that's our mindset. And so nothing's fundamentally changed. We're doubling down on it and we're very confident that this is going to erupt very soon, very akin to how Av did a couple, a while back when it was at 55 cents and shot up to $350 in a matter of two days. Not to say that it is guaranteed to happen on this one, but I think there's a strong possibility when it's the action similar to that in the short term future. And so with that said, I can get to today's recommendations. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to write this stuff down. All right, let's rock and roll. The very first one I have for you is a, a token called Synthetix, uh, ticker symbol SNX. It's currently trading as this morning at $12.17, a 30-day low of $8.84, a 30-day high of $14.52. The 52-week high is $28.77. 52-week low is $2.48. Uh, there's support right now at 12.2 and resistance at 13.8. So we're right, it's trading right at that support level right now. And so it's probably a good time to buy and I'll tell you why. Synthetics is actually one of the most well-known and e solutions to easy and reliable decentralized trading. This platform allows you to trade, stake, and borrow an array of different cryptos, equities, and commodities. They do this by creating a synthetic assets tied to the price of a real world asset. And these synthetic assets use the same logic to, to create digital stable coins like the popular United States coin U USDC. Uh, Synthetics has, also has its own USD stable coin listed as SUSD, standing for synthetic United States dollar. Uh, the, their synthetic United States dollar ba balances the supply and demand of the coin to reflect the price of the underlying asset to its that it's pegged to. In this case, it, case it's a U.S. dollar. And on top of having a great collection of some of the most popular cryptocurrencies, the platform has synthetics for non-crypto market assets. And this includes gold, silver, oil, the actual dollar, euro, Amazon, Netflix, Tesla, all on the blockchain. What also, what also gives traders an advantage on the synthetics platform is it's inverse synthetic assets. So, so these are synthetic coins representing a short position on the asset. And this functionality can be beneficial for trades during bear markets to continue profiting from the downward price movements. Synthetics is currently trading near its support, as I said, at $12.20. And I would nibble at this price and potentially dollar cost average on the dips. But overall, I'm very long on this. And I could see this reaching up to $22, $22 by the end of the year. 
All right. All right. So synthetics. So synthetics. If you like, is it like digital gold or something or what? what? If you if if you're familiar with like the financial markets, there's derivative traders out there, and so th these are basically digital assets that prices are correlated to a physical assets in, in in the real world. So it's a way uh, to more or less commoditize like uh, non crypto assets in the crypto world. And what's really unique about that is that you're able to they have inverse positions. And so you could buy a, a token that is inverse related to Bitcoin. And so when Bitcoin goes down, it goes up. And so that's a different way to be able to short the positions on a down market so you can still make money. So you're hedging your bet on that. Yeah. And that's so that's perfect. what it gives you. And so I think this is a lot of potential here. And I think uh, we could definitely see this almost double our money by the end of the year. Love it. All right. Okay. And the next one I have for you is Phantom with an F. And their ticker symbol is FTM. And as of this morning, they're trading around 94 cents. They have a 30 day low of 23 cents and a 30 day high of 94 cents. The 52 week low is around one cent and the 52 week high is around nine nine cents so it's trading around its 52 week high and uh phantom is an advanced blockchain project that helps people build a highly customized decentralized applications so dApps and nfts the project aims to solve some of the leap some of the leading challenges facing older blockchain projects like Bitcoin. And these challenges are speed, security, and scalability. Phantom uses a Lachesis, which is the backbone of the entire network. This is a BFT consensus mechanism that makes transactions built to use in the network relatively faster and secure. It powers the Phantom's mainnet deployment, which is built on Ethereum's blockchain. FTM is the native token for Phantom's ecosystem, and it's a token that is used to for securing the network, facilitating on-chain governments, and paying for the network fees. Phantom is up nearly 280% in the month, and it's at roughly 97 and a quarter of percent of its all-time high. So I'm very bullish long-term on Phantom, but I suggest buying when it pulls back between anywhere at 71 cents to 75 cents a share. So it's on a tear right now. It would be very natural and healthy for it to have a little bit of correction for uh, people to take their profits. And so I anticipate a little bit of a pullback and an opportunity to buy in the low 70s. But ultimately, I think by the end of the year, it's probably going to be trading around $1.50. Now, how are we going to know when to sell these things? Like if I invested money in here, you're going to come out like on Wednesday and you're going to say, hey, you know what? It's time to sell this asset or is how, how will I know when to give the asset up? Well, I, I'm not going to wait till Wednesday to tell you if it's time to sell. I'm, I'm going to tell you immediately. But what I'm also going to do is put together a, a list of targets. So once we hit, once the the tokens hit specific price thresholds, we want to be able to sell a, a, a portion of the gains and, and lock lock in those gains at those at, at, on a laddered basis, essentially. So we get up if we're up around 50% on one, let's sell about 10% of the profits there. Keep writing the rest of it out, and then we'll sell off a little more of the product, uh, profits when we hit the, the next tier. And so as it goes up, ultimately we're going to try to at least take the majority of the majority of the profits out over time. Keep the principal in there, and just keep writing that out, and then use the gains to help invest in other coins. Okay, and I also want to let people know. Like on Phantom, that Cameron is is proposing that we get, um, it's at 94 cents right now. He says between 71 cents and 75 cents, that's the buy zone. So what we do is we go into crypto.com and we put in what's called a limit order. And a limit order is where we say, if the price goes to, let's say, 74 cents, pretend, uh, I want you, I want to buy $1,000 worth. And that way you don't have to sit there and watch it over and over. You put that limit order in, and whenever that happens, it just executes for you. So if you aren't familiar with limit orders, I would go just do a little research on that to familiarize. It's extremely helpful because we can also put in a limit sell. So when Cameron comes back out and he says, hey, I want to sell uh, Phantom at $1.40, all we have to do is go say, when Phantom hits $1.40, I want you to automatically sell it. Again, we don't have to baby the stuff. So this is exactly. stuff that we're going to bring into the program for those people that don't know how to do these things. And we'll kind of just sprinkle it in as we go along. And next week, I think it'd be important to talk a little bit about asset allocation because there's one thing that's just as important as picking the right tokens in your portfolio. It's also having the right asset allocation in them. Um, and I'll explain why next week. Okay. Well, let's do asset allocation next week. Cameron, again, thanks for looking at all this stuff. I, I, again, people, I want you to know, 
to pick out two coins, you go through literally hundreds of coins and you look at them and you, and you, you, you weigh the pros and the cons. So it takes a lot of time to do this. All you have to do is watch this channel. Cameron's back there working his ass off all week. So I appreciate that, Cameron. Thanks for today's session. And, uh, and we'll talk next, next Wednesday. Absolutely. It's a pleasure and looking forward to talking with you next week. Sounds great. All right.